Hello, Solana community. My name is Chris Wilson. In this video, we'll be going over the things to keep in mind when staking and how to stake Solana using the self custody Ledger wallet and native app Ledger Live. If you're not sure what staking or what custody is, make sure to check out our What is Staking and What is Custody videos linked in the description. Let's take a look at some key staking facts. Sol is locked while staked and takes two days to become liquid once unbonded. Slashing is done via governance. Rewards are distributed every epoch, which is about two days. Rewards are automatically restaked and auto compounding every two days. This means rewards are not liquid and require being unstaked to move. There is currently an 8% inflation rate that decreases by 15% every year from Genesis with a target of 1.2% long-term inflation. If you would like to learn more about Solana, check out figment.io slash protocol slash Solana. Now that we know what to expect when staking Solana, we can take a look at how to participate in and secure the Solana network through staking. To get started, we'll open our Ledger Live app on desktop, and then we'll plug in our Ledger device, and then we can enter our PIN. We can go ahead and find the Solana app. Application is ready. So now we can go back to the Ledger desktop app, and we want to make sure that we have updated our Ledger Live version to 2.41.2. We'll also want to upgrade Ledger device firmware to 1.0.2 and download Solana app version 1.2.0 in order to stake Solana on desktop. So let's go ahead and download the update. And now we can install the update. And there it is, Solana staking. Click continue. If you guys would like to see a complete guide on how to set up your Ledger device and how to fund it, go ahead and comment down below, win Ledger guide. Now we can move on to the actual staking process. So we've got our Ledger hooked up to our computer. We have the Ledger Live app open. We've inputted our pin and we've funded our wallet with Solana. Now we can go to earn rewards. And here we'll see a little pop-up that says you may earn rewards by delegating your sole assets to a validator. You keep ownership of delegated assets. This means it's self-custody and no one else has the key to send funds from your account. You can delegate using your Ledger device so we don't have to interact with any other applications, which is super cool. Next, we'll choose a validator wisely. Part of your delegated assets may be irrevocably lost if the validator does not behave appropriately. This is where we can help influence the decentralization of the network. Delegating to a validator can be thought of as you voting for that node to create the next block in the chain for the network. You wouldn't want to delegate to just any validator because if they go offline or get slashed, you can miss rewards from your stake. Make sure to look for validators with good uptimes. If they are present in governance and the community, that's all the better. In proof of stake, your voting power goes to the validator you delegate to if you yourself do not vote on governance proposals. If you do vote, it will override the validator's vote. However, if you don't, you'll want to really make sure that your validator that you pick has a good track record in governance. For these reasons, I delegate to Figment validators. So now we can pick our validator. We can see here we've picked the Ledger by Figment. And as we were talking about when picking a validator, you really want to pick one that is well involved in the community and governance. Figment has an excellent governance track record and is heavily involved. We have whole teams dedicated to governance in Web3. So we'll click on the Figment validator and we'll click continue. Next, we'll pick the amount that we would like to delegate. Now you want to remember not to delegate all of your Solana because when you go to unbond, you will not have enough to pay for the gas. So in my case, we will go ahead and delegate 0.1 Sol, which is about $8 in current prices. And we're gonna hit continue on our device, check the delegate from and make sure that this is correct. We have seven we can see on each way. So we can go ahead and check those seven. Delegate from is correct. And then we'll check our deposit amount. The deposit amount is correct. And then we'll check the new authority. And that is correct. And then we'll check our vote account. And that is correct. You can go ahead and prove. Now it's broadcasting the transaction. This may take a couple of seconds. And boom, there it is. You've successfully delegated Soul straight from your Ledger Live device. We can view the details. And here we can see the status is confirmed. And there's our account balance change. How beautiful. And here we can see our status is activating. So it'll take about one epoch, two days, to activate our Soul. And then another two days, and we should start earning rewards. 
How cool is that? Congratulations, you've successfully staked Soul on Solana using your Ledger device. If you have any questions, be sure to join Staking Hub, our one-stop shop for all things staking. And in case you missed it, be sure to check out our other videos in the What Dat series. These videos include a breakdown of Web3, staking, ETH2, and custody. You can find links to these videos and more in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on all things Figment. At Figment, we're on a journey to create a truly decentralized internet where users can freely interact, share, collaborate, and exchange goods and services in a trustless environment. At Figment, it is important for us to encourage staking and protocol participation. For blockchains to work, you must be able to control how your data, finances, and privacy are used. This can only be achieved using a proof of stake protocol and your participation counts no matter the amount. Staking and governance is the only way to avoid centralization. To help deliver this vision, we offer staking, middleware, and application layer solutions for token holders and developers investing in and building on Web3 technologies. We're on a journey to build a better internet keeping privacy, data ownership, transparency, and censorship resistance top of mind. If you're interested in learning more about Figment or our services, you can find all the relevant links in the description below or at figment.io. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video valuable, make sure to share it with a friend. As always, if you have any questions about staking or how Figment simplifies blockchain for you or your organization, you can join Staking Hub with the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, Happy staking.